Let's talk about the differences between binary and multiple fission. Now, when we talked about binary and multiple fission, as the name suggests, binary means two. So one parent cell would produce two daughter cells and that's the simple explanation for binary and as the name suggests multiple so it's more than one so that is one of the most important differences we have three different creatures here that we have taken into account the first one we have here is amoeba the next one we have is leishmania which causes kala azar and the last is plasmodium now plasmodium is an example of multiple fission amoeba is an example of binary fission and then we have leishmania again an example of binary fission in a single plane so uh, more about the binary fission process in multiple planes and single planes we have covered in a separate lecture here our main focus is to identify the differences between uh, the various fission methods that is the binary and the multiple fission methods okay so uh, what we are trying to do here is understand the process so as we can see here leishmania here divides into two now what happens in a binary fission the division of the nucleus and the cytoplasm occurs together so if i want to write down the difference let me delete this and i want to write down the difference between binary fission and multiple fission what is the most common difference here the process of nucleus and cytoplasm division is simultaneous uh, it occurs continuously however in the case of multiple fission first the nucleus divides followed by the division of cytoplasm so it's one after the other here the division is only once the division process takes place only once one parent produces two cells and that's it it's over okay however in a multiple fission you have repeated division so definitely since there is a repeated division there are more than one copies of a uh, cell that are being produced so that is next difference that we understand and all the cells be it the binary or the multiple fission are identical to the parent cells so that is a common similarity between the two then coming on to examples for binary and multiple fission binary fission as we already have the two examples here amoeba leishmania besides that e coli we have archibacteria that is another example uh, in case of multiple fission we have algae plasmodium is already there we have taken this as an example okay uh, then you have sporangias so those are uh, common examples of multiple fission so that's the major difference here as in we see in the case of multiple fission there is division of nucleus followed by cytoplasm repeated division multiple copies being produced in binary you have single division single copies uh, only two cells being produced so division occurring only once those are some of the basic differences that we understand between binary fission and multiple fission uh, a very important topic uh, that we understand in the basics of science we would be covering many more interesting topics for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead